trying out everything from the I Love Sarai Dose of Colors collection in this video today. Everything. I'm swatching the lip colors on my lips. I used every eyeshadow in her collection in this video. I also used both of the highlighters, one on this side and one on this side. If you want to see what I think about everything, my honest opinions about everything in this collection, then just keep on watching. We're gonna get right into the entire collection. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time talking about this because I've already talked about it like twice and you guys are gonna think I'm a little crazy. <laughs> but I'm just gonna say one thing, I love Karen. So let's just get to it. I'm gonna start with my eyes. So I'm going to prime with the Sigma Eyeshadow Base Primer. So here's the palette and these are all the shades. There are six shades in here. There are two just regular like everyday shimmers. There's these warm orangey shades and then you have your blue and your black. I'm going to start with this shade right here and the shadow names are right here. I'm not sure where they correspond to so I'm just gonna point at the eyeshadows in this video. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with this shade right here and just applying this to the upper crease area. Oh yeah, this is nice. This is a really nice transition. I kind of feared that this wasn't going to be a good enough shade for a transition, but it's really, it's really good. The shadows are blending really well. And now I'm going to go in with this shade right here. It's just a kind of terracotta shade. And I'm going to apply this to the outer corner to kind of deepen up the look. And this is really nice as well. And I like that you can get both kind of looks with this palette this can be your palette for party with the blue and the black and it can be your everyday palette with the lighter shades so now I'm gonna go into this black and it does have shimmer in it but I'm going to apply this to the crease and just see what happens and I'm just gonna add this right in the center this palette has everything your first impression is like six eyeshadows can I really make a complete look but we're getting there. They did a really good job. And the shimmer pretty much goes away when you blend it like this way. I'm sure if you used it on the lid, it would keep the shimmer. So now I'm going to go in with the blue and apply this on the lid. And I'm using a Sigma E55 brush. I don't know if this was the right brush for this. Oh, never mind. Wow. It does have fallout. But wow, this eyeshadow is so nice. Y'all see that? Whoa. Super pigmented. Okay, Karen. You better do it. Now I'm going into this shade, apply this on a different brush, and we're just gonna work this in the inner corner to connect it to the blue. So good, and I'm not even pressing that hard to apply this to my lid. And I'm just gonna add a bit more black to blend it in. So that is so pretty. These eyeshadows are really, really nice. Now on to the highlights, and I couldn't wait for this video. So I've already tried both of these highlighters love them they work really well on my skin tone they're not ashy or anything like that i'm going to show you both one on each side i mean they're different but i won't look crazy if i apply them on both sides so the first one i'm taking is bathe and this one has a rose goldness to it so i'm just applying this on the cheeks like look at that that is just like a wow highlight what I do is, is I go back in with my bronzer just to make sure it isn't like a stripe of highlight because these are super pigmented. I just blend my bronzer kind of into the highlight. Then I'm going to take the other side of the brush and I'm going to use Soulmate. This one is more of a gold highlight. Now both of these work on my skin tone. It just depends on what kind of makeup look like this. So pretty what kind of makeup look I'm going for so if I have more I probably would have used this one today because my eyeshadow is more warm so I would go with a goldish highlight but if I did more like a pinky eyeshadow look I would use this one because it goes really well but you can really use them for any look they're not that much off from each other but they are different and just a quick look at the ingredients on both of these these both have the same ingredients so you should get the same intensity with both of the highlights depending on which one you decide to pick up but you could just see it on my face that they're both the same intensity and I'm just gonna use the gold on the rest of my face these highlights I'm mad that these highlighters are limited edition <laughs> I 
That's what I'm mad about. I've been thinking about that these past few days. I'm like, what am I gonna do when I run out of these highlights? So now I'm going to apply every single one of the lip colors. I'm going to apply them as I would wear them. So I'm going to pair them with lip liners and I'll tell you which lip liners that I'm pairing with these lips. So, recap of all the lip colors. I do not like Fressa. I don't think I'm gonna wear a lot of this. I also didn't like Brio. I think that's how you pronounce it, lip gloss. It was a bit too chunky, in my opinion. Also, the Barely There lip gloss is pretty, but you have to wear it with a lip liner if we're the same skin tone or else it's way too light. You can see the way that it looks without like not a lot of lip liner in my summer date night video before I fixed it. It's really light, so this one you have to be careful with, as well as the other nudes in here. But even though I said just barely there needs a lip liner, really all of them need a lip liner, but I'm just saying that one specifically, you definitely need one, as well as the nudes in this line. My absolute favorite is Aesthetic. Now this one is the terracotta one. I definitely say this is a good purchase if you get this one. It's super, super pretty. I love those terracotta, like rusty shade, rusty orangey shades anyway so of course this was gonna be my favorite one the one that I actually decided to put back on was peachy and peachy is a peach nude I don't think I have anything like this so I really like this one it looks super pretty and it makes your teeth look super white that's what I was trying to show you guys was it my teeth look super white with this color this one is a good buy as well so aesthetic and peachy my favorites and then nude chica was pretty as well but you definitely need a lip liner with that I forgot one of the eyeshadows I was like I use every shadow right no so I'm going to apply this shade right here in the inner corner to give a highlight oh that's pretty it has like a pinky undertone to it yeah I like this every shadow has been used at this point <laughs> so this entire collection is super super gorgeous i'm gonna use everything until it goes away forever you guys have to check out at least one thing make sure that you subscribe to my channel as well as check out my previous video i showed you guys how to get the sharpest wing liner the easiest way in the world <laughs> so make sure you check that out thank you guys so much for watching and i promise i'll see you guys next time bye guys